denum 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 oh shit my bad greetings and welcome to another edition of seamless styles powered by politics and polaroids i'm your host mr parker Today, as you can guess by the Super Mario song I was just singing as I was playing the game and my ensemble, yeah, we're talking about denim today. Ralph Lauren denim, of course. But we're going to talk about denim. We're going to talk about all the sizes, cuts, the different fits, and what style may best fit your body type, gentlemen. All right, we're going to get right into it. We're going to first start off with my ensemble, which is a Ralph Lauren version of the Canadian tuxedo. What's a Canadian tuxedo? Well, it's basically a jean shirt and a pair of jeans. Ralph Lauren took it a step further and actually made a suit out of it. So the trousers or jeans or pants are a Sullivan slim fit denim. They do have buttons for braces on the interior. I didn't put any braces on today, however, because of the waistcoat. But uh, it's a Sullivan Slim stretch. We'll talk about that later. The jacket or the sports coat, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to get into that in the next episode, is of the true to size version. It's single vented in the back. It is lined throughout. And it has the traditional rugby blue and yellow rep stripe under the lapel collar one of my favorite outfits it's a suit but if you are in corporate america and you wear a suit every day i probably wouldn't suggest wearing it every day but it'll be a hell of a twist for casual fridays all right so let's get into it we're going to talk about denim today y'all ready let's go now our first ensemble will be featuring a pair of sullivan slim fit jeans this particular pair of denim does not have stretch in it so it's a true to size type of fit. Now the Sullivan Slim sits low in the waist, so it's not sagging, which is freaking horrendous. I don't know why anybody would still do that, but it's not sagging. It, it just sits low in, in the natural waist. It's slim from the seat down through the thigh, and then it tapers towards the leg. So the Sullivan Slim fit is the best slim fit for those who don't want to be have their denim too skinny but definitely don't want that baggy oversized look 95 percent of my denim is sullivan slim i like sullivan slim i like to buy a longer inseam so i can get a nice cuff because with that taper once you cuff it then you're able to show off your shoe and or your socks if you're wearing a, a nice chelsea boot you can you can cuff it once and get most of that Chelsea boot to be seen as you're standing up, which is always a good thing. This particular pair of Sullivan Slim Fit denim is a motorcycle jean. Motorcycle jeans have that padding here in the knee, which is for gents, uh, gents who ride motorcycles, I guess. I don't ride motorcycles, they're too dangerous for me. Anyway, but I do like the style of the moto jeans, so I did buy this pair. Sullivan Slim Fit, it's a dark wash, so we could pair it with, it's a nice button down shirt and a nice leather jacket. Now it's not a motorcycle jacket or a cafe racer jacket or the G1 bomber that I had that I gave away for free back in March, but um, it's a nice leather jacket nonetheless. Soft leather, added a bandana around the neck just for style to go with the entire look. And then you can throw on, this is an oil cloth driving cap. You could throw this on or you could just rock a nice haircut and go that direction. But this is a nice little casual look for outdoors. You put on some boots or some brown dress shoes, something of that nature. Then you're still able to be casual for Friday at work or even after hours or mixer or something of that effect. And you're good to go with this outfit. All right. The next pair of denim I want to focus on is the Varic Slim Straight. Now, Varic Slim Straights is exactly what it sounds like. It's in between a slim fit and a straight or a classic fit. 
So it's it's somewhere in the middle. It still has a low rise. It sits below the waist. It's slim in the seat through to, through to the thigh, but then it straightens out as it goes down. So it doesn't have a taper to it. It has a little more leg room for the knee down for you gentlemen like Carlos Brown who never skipped leg day. Um, I like the Slim Straight. I don't love it. This particular pair, however, I fell in love with the wash, so that's why I purchased it. Um, I do wear them. I do. I wear them with boots mainly just because, again, they have a straight fit from the knee down. But this is a nice pair of denim, very comfortable, very sturdy, as all Ralph Lauren denim is. Uh, with this particular ensemble, I did the, the denim with a nice V-neck long sleeve sweater. It's got a half cable knit to it. It has a RL Crest logo in the middle with a deer. So it's more of that country eclectic English gent style. So that, because of that, I went with a tweed blazer by Lauren. Pocket square, nice neckwear, uh, paisley, navy blue and red uh, necktie, and a striped dress shirt to finish it off. And again, like I said, when I would wear this ensemble, I'd wear it with a pair of boots, probably a pair of Chelsea boots, maybe some brogue, but I'd probably stick with a Chelsea, just, I mean, not a Chelsea, I'm sorry, a pair of chuckers. Um, again, this is the Varick Slim Straight Varick. As most Ralph Lauren names are derived from something in particular dealing with New York City, in particular Manhattan, Varick is a street that runs through West Village. I don't know if you've seen any of the rugby shirts that have Mercer Club. Mercer is a street that runs through NoHo and SoHo. Um, so yeah, Ralph always likes to, he loves, he loves his hometown, he loves New York. He, thinks, he sticks with that theme. And that's where the word varic comes from. If you've ever looked inside your jeans or uh, before you bought a pair of denim, you've seen 867 somewhere. That's the number code for 867 Madison Avenue, which is the Gertrude Rylander Waldo House or the Ralph Lauren Mansion Store. So just a little brief history of where the word varic comes from. Um, again, varic slim straight, low in the waist, straight fit from the knee down, slimming effect from the seat down to the knee. So it's a, it's a good pair of denim and it's a good cut for uh, even for bigger guys, bigger guys or guys with, you know, more weight, more, more weight in their legs, more, more weight than I have. I have skinny legs. Our next pair of denim is by Double RL. Double RL stands for Ricky Ralph Lauren. Ricky is Miss Ricky Lowbeers Lauren who is Ralph Lauren's wife and the mother of his three children. Ralph, uh, Double RL is a brand that is more of the workwear variety, the Western inspired variety. It's very rugged apparel. Uh, it's, it's also a bit pricey, but it's, it's definitely worth it. If you like the A, that kind of look and B for your uh, apparel to last you for 30 years. Um, this particular pair is from about three years ago. When I purchased them, they were of a classic fit, but I had them tailored to a slim straight. I didn't want to go to a slim fit variety as far as the tailoring or the alterations because of the fact that the buttons for the braces are on the outside of the pants. So I didn't want it to be too slim fitting, but I definitely couldn't wear it as baggy as it was. These are dungarees, so Dungarees tend to always come in a classic fit or even bigger. Um, this particular pair I love, it's not of a selvage variety, but I love it nonetheless. Most of the double RL denim is of a selvage variety. Selvage is a form of wo uh, woven for denim. It's woven specifically to uh, eliminate fraying or unraveling. Um, Selvage is usually done on a loom, or historically is done on a loom. Uh, nowadays, it can be done by hand. Selvage is definitely worth it. The Japanese do a lot of selvage denim, and hence that's probably why they're the leading manufacturers of denim at this point in time. Some of the double RL, purple label, and well, if you can still find black label, 
is of the Selvage variety, the denim, the denim uh, pants on. So what we did with this ensemble, we just we put the braces on, and this is a tweed pair of braces. We put the braces on, added a heavy Donegal herringbone tweed pattern blazer. Did the sweater, this is a thin merino wool sweater. It almost looks like a t-shirt, but it's definitely a sweater. It's ribbed here at the bottom. Dress shirt and a bow tie just for the whimsical aspect. Uh, again, with something like this, I would probably do a pair of boots, but I could also do a pair of uh, wing tips with this as well and make it look pretty good. This next pair of denim is a super distressed and repaired pair of denim and supply slim straight denim. Now, denim and supply is no longer open for business, unfortunately. Um, I think Ralph and the gang had a great idea when they came out with Denim and Supply. Denim and Supply was just what the name implies. It was that entire denim look for the modern day man or woman. Um, it was definitely geared and catered towards a younger demographic, but gentlemen in my age group could also wear it and feel comfortable and not feel uh, their age or whatever you want to call it. However, unfortunately, the company did not survive and they closed the doors a couple of years back. I'm um, not sure how many stores there were. I know there was at least one in New York City. But like I said, I was a fan of Denim and Supply because it was a good it was good quality denim. It was at a great price. The price point was similar to Polo Blue Label, but it was a good alternative. So I bought this particular pair because I fell in love with the level of the distress and repaired in the denim. As you can see here, the, the jeans almost look brown until you get to the top and the bottom where you can actually see the indigo blue in it. But this entire section here, which is from upper thigh all the way down to the calf, is of the brown distressed and repaired variety. And what's great about it is that it was repaired with an army surplus bag. So you can actually see different numbers inside here where some of the bigger repair jobs were done. I'm assuming, I haven't seen anybody else with these, but I'm assuming that because of that, probably no two pair look exactly the same because like I said, you're using a army surplus uh, duffel bag. So you're probably gonna cut it in different places and, and place it randomly. So these were a great pair of jeans. I'm, I'm glad I still have them and I'll never get rid of these. Um, but I just did something simple with this because the denim is the star of the outfit is the conversation piece. Just threw on a nice work shirt. I have one here with a throat latch plaid. Nice fall, nice fall hues in the shirt. Got the uh, work work uh, shirt pockets. And uh, yeah, this this and a pair of you could do a pair of boots. You could even do a pair of you want to keep it super casual. You could even do a pair of white uh, white canvas sneakers with this outfit, and you'd be good to go. All right, so we're gonna move away from denim jeans and we're gonna to go to a denim top. Here we have the iconic, irreverent denim trucker jacket. Gets his name from truck drivers. Nothing special behind the name. However, it's one of the most sought after and well-known and well-recognized pieces in men's fashion. Ralph Lauren's denim trucker jacket is sturdy. I've had this one here six years, not a mark or a fray on it that wasn't frayed or marked from the factory. And I wear this quite often in fall, some of winter, some of spring. So it gets a lot of wear for, for a jacket or a coat for me. Um, I don't normally do the matching denim on denim when it comes to a trucker jacket trying to match a pair of jeans to it. Now, like I said, I, I am wearing a Canadian tuxedo. I have on a suit, but this is a suit. So when it comes to my trucker jacket, I usually throw it on with something totally different from denim as far as my, as far as my bottoms. I've worn my trucker jacket with sweats. I've worn it with shorts. Here, I did wear a pair of slim fit cargos and the Gurkha Hue. Um, this is one of my favorite khaki hues. It's called Gurkha, G-U-R-K-H-A and the Gurkha Hue, and it's a slim fit cargo. It doesn't have the flared out cargo pockets 
they are functional however they're really more so for the look went with a plaid dress shirt a uh, navy blue necktie with the all over griffin print on it for that collegiate look and then I added this rugby Ralph Lauren waistcoat in a gray uh, charcoal gray with white and blue stripes in the uh, the waistcoat that's that's the look for the day with this one I would go with um, maybe probably a pair of wing tips I don't wear sneakers too much to be honest i um, probably go with a pair of wing tips with this outfit um, but yeah as far as denim top go the trucker jacket is a mainstay in my collection it should be a mainstay in your collection or wow you can go with a denim work shirt you could wear it kind of like a jacket over the same shirt and neckwear combo that we had with the denim trucker jacket so it's a it's light it's a little more lightweight gives you uh, more movability in this shirt than you would with a jacket on if you wanted to stick with and wear that to have that denim look and you could go with this denim work shirt uh actually this is a denim western shirt i'm sorry got the work shirt feel to it but it's more of a western shirt because of the pattern on the shoulder um again this is a a, a piece that i really like i bought this um when i worked at a factory store and i was surprised that something like this came into a factory store it's got a distressed look here it's got the uh, mother of pearl buttons here all functional it's a really good fit. It's almost a custom fit, but not quite. Um, it is a denim shirt. Now, the only thing that I know for sure is that there is a difference between a denim shirt and a chambray shirt. And the difference is the weight of it. And the fact that it's denim. Chambray is cotton. Denim is cotton, but denim is denim. Chambray is cotton. And denim is heavier than a chambray shirt so this is not chambray this is actually a denim shirt this is actually a jean shirt but um yeah you could switch the entire look up by just switching from the trucker jacket to the denim western work shirt and putting it over top of the same shirt with the same pair of pants and you're still in there just sipping on some chai tea it's the evening i usually record in the mornings or during the day. Uh, this is my first time recording in the evening, so just drink a little chai tea to relax and unwind. Anyway, before closing, um, we did not discuss the Hampton Fit. The Hampton Fit is a classic fit, so I don't own any classic fit. Um, but the Hampton Fit is a classic fit. It sits right on the waist, and it's a straight leg from the from seat all the way down. So for the Hampton fit, the Hampton fit caters towards the bigger gentleman or the taller gentleman. Probably 95% of denim or pants in big and tall is the Hampton fit. It is also available in the regular fit. However, it's definitely uh, readily available in the big and tall fit. Now there are some barrack straight fit denim in big and tall it's just not easy to find but that's the only fit we didn't cover today that's currently available in ralph lauren was the hampton fit but anyway that's another episode in the books get in the comments section and if you have any questions or any comments about today's vlog feel free to cut loose we're discussing denim denim jeans denim jackets denim shirts denim 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 Hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and y'all have a good one, you hear it?